everybody and welcome back to another episode of wait a second this is not RL plays retro loser life loser slices this is another episode of retro life reviews but it's just me this time sorry you guys but CK is not available at this time so I want to make some reviews again because I missed the reviewing on my channel so this is kind of like a part two continuation of the game that I just played the other day alien Soldier for the Sega Genesis, a game that I never heard of, and it's really awesome. So basically, it's gonna be the same structure as it was before with Retro Life Reviews. I'm pretty much gonna call it the same thing because it is Retro Life Reviews, and I'm gonna review graphics, music, sound effects, gameplay, controls, difficulty, fun factor, story, and replay value. And actually, it's story if applicable. I forgot. It's been such a long time, and CK's not here to help me. He's really much the, the brains behind this, and he's really, really good. And I always go after him because it gives me the inspiration to talk about it. So I tried it a little bit at the end of the RO Plays retro, and I kind of messed up. So I'm starting from scratch. So I'm going to review graphics first. And so, as you guys know, I love the graphics of this game. It is an amazing looking game. Something about the graphics, the way it pops, the way it looks, everything about this game is beautiful to look at. The sprites are amazing. It's just an amazing game graphically for the system. I think it's one of the better looking games on the system. That is for sure. And uh, it's just, I love these kind of games. These kind of side scrolling action kind of contra like maybe a little bit of metal slug a little bit of gunstar heroes but the graphics are amazing the backgrounds the details are amazing it looks amazing so i give the graphics a retro double love for graphics what an amazing looking game so yeah it has to be a double love and Siki, you're next oh wait Siki's not here well maybe i have him call in or something but um, eventually I'm going to have Siki back because we really love doing this. Alright, so moving on to music and sound effects. So the music in this game is very low end. It is not a very musical game. I don't know. I love a lot of Genesis games for the music. Some people think Genesis is a terrible music. Super NES they say is better, but I find that Genesis has some one of the most amazing tracks, most amazing music. For instance, Streets of Rage 2. CK, you know this, right? CK would nod at this point. He would say, yes, Streets of Rage 2 is amazing with the music, but this game is not. For some reason, it's just very bland. It's okay, it's serviceable, but serviceable is not what you want in a Genesis game for music. So I don't like the music at all, but the sound effects are serviceable more so. So it's kind of middle of the ground. Everything sounds okay. The guns sound like they're supposed to sound. There's like lots of you know, musical cue or sound effect cues that are supposed to be there. There's nothing missing, basically, what I'm trying to say. There's no big sound effects that are just, like, gone for some reason. Like, I guess Ryder, for instance, has terrible sound effects. It's just so badly done. It's, like, paced together, but it's still an amazing game. But this game is not Strider. It actually looks better than Strider, and it's probably a better game than Strider. But the sound effects and the music combined, I will give it a retro like for sound and music. So gameplay, moving on to gameplay, that's how I say it, right? Anyways, it's so much different without CK here, but I'm doing pretty good. I'm gonna pat myself on the back because I'm doing this on my own for the first time ever on my channel, a retro life review. There's my pizza, and as you notice, I'm losing slices. Every time I do a section like graphics, music, sound, I lose a slice, or I eat a slice in this case, because I'm not losing a slice, I'm not playing it against the game. It's a little bit of a different format on the section of RL, RL plays, retro life review. It's confusing, right? All right, well, now let's move on to gameplay. So the gameplay in this game, is very very good I really like the gameplay it's side scroll side scroll a lot of fun shooting shooting everything shooting lots of explosions gameplay is fun it's fast the aliens are getting at you or I think they're aliens right the, you know it's standard gameplay for a system 
at the time for the Genesis. It's perfectly done. It's not reinventing the wheel. It's not like, oh my god, this is the most amazing gameplay, but it is great gameplay. A lot of fun. I love side scrollers. Those are my favorite things. As you notice on my channel, all the games that I put up against pizza are side scrollers pretty much. I might throw in a bit of a loop and occasionally might do some shooter games or racing games or something, but it's hard to do a racing game because you're not dying in a racing game unless you're crashing. I consider it a dying, I guess. Or maybe some sports games. Every time you score a goal, you lose a slice. I did it with Blade of Steel, but it doesn't really work consistently. But I do like my side scrollers, shooter side scrollers, Contra like games. I love Contra. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you love Contra. Who doesn't love Contra? Unless you're not a gamer, I guess you don't love Contra. But I love this game. Not as much as I love Contra, of course, but it is a Contra-like game, so why wouldn't I like it? Love it, love it. All right, so gameplay gets a retro love for me. It's not a double love. It's what it is. It's standard. It's fun. It's not event reinventing the wheels. They said. So moving on. Let's get going. Moving on. CK, where are you? Oh, I forgot. I keep on forgetting CK is not here. It's so weird. But anyways. Anyways, moving on to controls. So what do you think of the controls in this game? RL. <laughs> I was going to say CK. That's how I say it, so I'm used to that style. The controls are tight. They're good. They get the job done. There's no platforming in this game, so it's not really a game that you need amazing controls. You're just moving side to side or side to the... going to the right. You're just shooting. Everything is solid. It's not... Um, something that doesn't have to be amazing. I don't think this kind of game would be terrible controls if it wasn't tight I guess but it moves fine you don't feel like you're in quicksand you don't feel like you're sluggish in this game you're able to jump you're able to move you're able to hang on the ceiling which is very very good it's a very useful thing to hanging on the ceiling kind of like shinobi sometimes you feel like a ninja a bit I don't know if this is a ninja type game there are some bosses that are very ninja like so maybe it is ex inspired to be a ninja game it's got a lot of genres in this game it is a really fun game the controls are great they get the job done. It's nothing amazing. So I will give the controls a retro love because it doesn't frustrate me. It's not annoying, but there's no platforming, so it doesn't it's hard to judge the controls. It it, it works. The controls work. Alright, so moving on to difficulty. The thing about this game is the difficulty it is adjustable. And anytime there's an adjustable difficulty, that makes me happy, makes me smile. Same thing with CK. He would always say adjustable difficulty makes it worthwhile. This is why this game is a lot better in terms of fun factor. I haven't gotten the fun factor yet, but I will. It is a much more fun game than say Contra Hardcore because that game is just way, way, way too hard. There is no adjustable difficulty in this game. So this game or that game. In this game there's easy and hard. I like to play on easy because I'm not that great but the hard is hard. I haven't really tried much of the hard but the easy is not that easy actually. I had to practice this game a lot to get to the first boss and pass the first boss. It was not easy. It was very very difficult. So it isn't super super easy but I like the fact that they give you an option because not everyone is an amazing superstar gameplay player video game superstar and sometimes you need adjustable difficulties so that's what makes this game great because there's adjustable gu difficult guilty there's adjustable difficulties difficulties so all right so what am I gonna score the difficulties I am going to give the difficulty a retro double like it is not super super easy and there's not enough levels of difficulty meaning there's an easy and a hard there's no medium I wish there was a little bit more like um, levels of difficulty they should have easy easy er or medium or regular and then hard and maybe a super hard and that would give it more of an option to cater to people's skill levels you only have easy and you have hard which is better than just having hard but it isn't a love for me so it's a retro double like for uh, for difficulties Alright, so moving on to Fun Factor. The Fun Factor in this game is awesomely fun. I'm telling you, this game is a fun, super fun game. Again, I just found out about this game last week. I never even heard of this game before. It is so, There's so many great games on the Sega Genesis that I never even played, never even heard. That's what makes this game so, this system so amazing. There's still so many amazing games for this system, and this game is super, super fun. It's not the most fun, but I love the fact that you have different guns you could choose in the beginning. You could pick how many, which guns you want to do, and you could choose 
the same gun over and over again if you really like that one gun. I really love the flamethrower gun, the one that's like a flamethrower that's kind of like a heat sinking flamethrower, I suppose. And that one is freaking awesome. That turned out to be my favorite gun. So, the fun factor, being able to choose different guns, having choice, is kind of like a little bit like RPG, but not quite. But it still makes the game way more fun because you could choose right away from the start which game you want. You don't need power-ups. You don't need to. There are power-ups in this game, of course. There are times where you can switch up in this game, but you're not waiting for things to fall from the sky like Contra to find a gun that you really, really want. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It just makes it more choice. It makes you have more. Uh, it makes it easier actually because you pick the, the goal. The, the goal. You pick the gun that you really want to play with. The, the weapon you want to play. The weaponry is what I like to say in the game, so you can be a lot better, not have to just pick the laser or, or start off with a pistol which is like so cheesy or something like the original Contra which is an amazing game I love that game it's one of my favorite games of all time but you start off with a pistol it's so so difficult to do that I and mean, you have to wait for the well I guess the spreader gun comes pretty fast from the sky but I love this game in terms of the fun factor it's just fun the bosses are fun there's like there's, it's pretty, pretty much a boss game. It is a boss game. So many bosses in this game. Very little uh, levels where you're playing the basic levels, but you're getting to the boss very, very fast. So it's like cutting the fat away. It's kind of like a little bit, like I said before, it's like a little bit of like a precursor to Shadow of Colossus, which was like all bosses. This game is obviously not Shadow of Colossus, but the bosses thing is really cool. So I kind of like comparing it a little bit. But it is a fun game. The explosions are really cool. The sound effects are great as I said and it's hard but it's adjustable so that makes it more fun and I love looking at this game I love playing it these are the type of games I like to play on the Sega Genesis nowadays not like in the past where I used to play sports games but the fun factor is super high I'm gonna say it is a retro love or fun factor all right so there's no story in this game I think there's a brief story in the beginning it says it takes place in the 20 23rd 24th century or something I forgot Check, I'll check it again. Leave a comment below. Let me know what century this is in. There is a brief story, but it's very, very brief. There's no cutscenes that I know of because I played up to level 10 so far and I haven't seen any cutscenes. So there really isn't a story to, to review. So I'm going to skip the story. Replay value. That is the next one. CK, what do you think about the replay value in this game? Oh, CK, why aren't you here? I uh, miss having CK on my channel. But uh, leave a comment below, let me know if you want CK back. And if you leave enough comments, he will come back. Eventually we're going to do that. And we're eventually going to start making some Retro Life reviews again. With not just me, but I kind of want to do it too. So I'm okay, I'm trying to find the balance. So replay value for me... I don't know so much about the replay value. I think the game has minimum replay value. The good thing about the game is you get to choose your weaponry. So of course you can play the game again after passing it and trying it with different weapons and see which one you like best so there is replay value in this game I just don't know how much replay value because I haven't had a chance to finish it I haven't really had a chance to say okay I want to play this game from start to finish and then start it again I think I would get a little bit bored because it is a repetitive but the bosses are unique it's nice to look at so there are things that you'd want to try again and I think replay value for me what it means to me is, do you want to play the game again? Is there enough incentive, incentive to play the game again? Because if you're playing the game again, there has to be a reason to want to play it. Other than the fact that it's super, super fun, you need to play it from different angles and say, oh, are you playing a different character? Not in this game. There are only one character that I know of. But there are multiple weapons, so you could try the game, start from scratch, and say, okay, I'm going to try it with the laser this time. I'm going to try it with the spreader this time, and see how far I can get. So there is replay value. I just died, but I didn't lose a slice. That's okay, because this is not the lose a slice section on the channel. All right, so replay value. I'm going to say the replay value is a double like for replay value. I don't think it's something that I would want to play super, super a lot and, and replay it after playing it the first time but I do believe there's some replay value a lot of replay value so a double like sounds fair to me uh, I guess next would be the influence score um, usually we do that I don't an influence score is a zero to two uh, I believe there really isn't any influence that this game has I think it's influenced from Contra obviously as you can see on the screen this is basically a Contra game in many ways 
I don't believe this game has any kind of factor in society, in gaming history. Nobody really talks about this game much. It's kind of like a hidden gem. It is not a game that did super, super well. Maybe I'm wrong. Leave a comment below. Let me know if this game was super popular. I never heard of it growing up. It is definitely not Contra. I can't say this game has any massive uh, influence on the gaming industry, so it will get a zero for me. Alright, so that's it. There's no coin flip, so I don't have to worry about losing every time I had a coin flip. I'm telling you, 90% of the time, CK won the coin flip. 90% of the time, but at least the last time I won the floin, the, the floin, the coin flip. I can't talk, I can't talk. I can't win the coin flip to save my life. 10% of the time, 10% of the time I win the coin flip. Ah, what are you gonna do? No coin flip today, no coin flip. Alright, so this is my review of Alien Soldier, an amazing game for the Sega Genesis. Love, love, love this game. It is so awesome. So leave a comment below, let me know what you think of this game. Let me know whether you play this game or not. What's your favorite game on the Sega Genesis? Do you love Contra as much as me? And what kind of pizza do you like? What kind of pizzas do you like? What's your favorite company for pizza? What's your favorite toppings for pizza? What kind of pizzas do you like? Do you like flat pizzas, like thin crust pizza, thick crust pizza, deep dish pizza, greasy pizza, non-greasy pizza, extra sauce of pizza, which I think is the main thing. Main, main, main way to go with pizza is extra sauce Domino's extra sauce I should get sponsored by Domino's one day maybe I'll go to Domino's and say could you sponsor me I'm gonna promote you I love Domino sauce it's one of the greatest sauce on the planet I always put double sauce double sauce for I just I cannot stand a dry pizza there's nothing worse than a dry pizza that's my love of pizza coming out right now so leave a comment below let me know what you think of this game and I will have more retro content in the weeks months and years to come. Bye for now.